Hi, I'm Shane Vandybreed, pastor at First Baptist Church in Stanton, Michigan. Thank you for watching Bible Bites. In this video, we're going to talk about running. In fact, I've entitled this video, Run. Now, running is not something that I personally enjoy doing. Now, I've done a lot of it. I, I've done it in school. Uh, I had to do it a lot in the military. In fact, in the military, uh, aside from the normal physical training exercises and, you know, running two miles and four miles and sometimes six or more miles at one time, the battalion or sometimes the brigade, uh, and there was even a couple post-wide fun runs that I had to uh, participate in. In fact, everybody is required to participate in fun runs, and oftentimes they would even invite uh, spouses and uh, children uh, to come along. And it's called a fun run. Now, I that's to me is an oxymoron, putting two uh, uh, opposite words together to try and create something new. There's just nothing fun about running to me. But I do remember in school that there would be other reasons for running, uh, such as in a race. And there would be either bragging rights for who won, or sometimes uh, if it was like a track meet, uh, then there would be prizes, either medals or ribbons to be handed out. So running began to have a little bit more purpose than just uh, physical training and, and building up your endurance and um, increasing your uh, your metabolism and your heart rate, you know, to be able to uh, improve your cardiovascular system. But running has never been fun. But when it's a race, it, it gives me a, a more of a purpose. And the Bible talks about this as well. Now, when we run, uh, especially if it's in a race, we dress the part. Uh, we will put on our running shoes. Uh, we will wear a, a t-shirt and we will wear shorts uh, so that we won't be encumbered, so that um, we can run as fast as we can and for as long as we can. You know, so you're not going to wear, um, you know, your army boots when you run. Uh, you're not going to put on a, a big winter jacket uh, when you're running and you're not going to be carrying things or having ankle weights or anything of the sort. You don't want to be entangled uh, or weighed down by these things. You want to put all your effort into running as fast as you can so that you might win the prize. Now, uh, as I say, the, the Bible has uh, something to say about this. In fact, the Apostle Paul writes about it in two different places that we're going to take a look at uh, in this video. And the first is in Hebrews chapter 12, uh, verses 1b through 2a. And let's look at that now. Let us also lay aside every encumbrance and the sin which so easily entangles us, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, fixing our eyes on Jesus. Now, that is a a fantastic uh, call by the Apostle Paul that God is giving us that, uh, listen, you guys need motivation. All you who believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, you need motivation that um, you have actually entered a race. The, receiving the Lord Jesus Christ, believing on him to receive forgiveness from sin and the and the hope and promise of eternal life in the age to come uh, is not just a one-time thing. It's a lifelong thing. And it's not something that we do passively. And it's not a spectator uh, sport. This is something that we personally, each one of us, get involved in. And we are to consider it like a race. Our faith following the Lord Jesus Christ growing in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior. We need to look at this like it's a race. And uh, a race that Paul points out here that 
uh, we need to lay aside everything that can encumber us, you know? So put on your tennis shoes and your shorts and, and, a, and a lightweight t-shirt so that you can run. Don't be encumbered down. And then he also adds, and lay aside all the sin uh, in your life that entangles you and weighs you down and prevents you from running fast or that distracts you and takes you off in a different course than following the the race uh, and, and the, the plan that has been laid out. You know, you need to stay on course. If you go off course, you're either going to lose time uh, or you might even be disqualified altogether. And so Paul tells us, listen, lay aside uh, everything that encumbers you. Lay aside all the sin that entangles you and run the race. And how does he say to do it? With endurance, because this isn't a sprint. This is a lifelong uh, commitment that we are making. When we believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, we need to follow that through with every aspect of our life for the entirety of our life. It's a big commitment, but there's huge payoffs. We are becoming uh, closer and closer in our relationship with the God of the universe, the creator of all things. What could be more important than that? And the hope and promise of receiving eternal life rather than eternal punishment, what could be greater than that? So this is a lifelong pursuit, following uh, the Lord Jesus Christ and serving him. And so we lay aside all those things that uh, encumber us and entangle us. And then we run it with endurance for the rest of our life. And, and then he also says, fix your eyes on Jesus. Fix your eyes on Jesus. That is our goal. That, that is our motivation. That is, that is the, uh, the finish line. We are running towards Jesus. Fix your eyes on Jesus. And he's not just there uh, at the finish line waiting for us. He's also there running right beside us. Indeed, he's even helping us uh, when we get weary uh, and when we feel like we can't go one step further. He is there to pick us up and to help us keep going, but our eyes need to be fixed on Jesus. Not, not just to look and then uh, for, for a moment, and then we can go off and do other things, and then we come back and look again uh, for a minute, and then we go off and do other things. The idea of fixed means a continual looking, staring at, being motivated, and running towards Jesus in all areas of our life. It's not just uh, for morning devotionals, you know, when we read a Bible passage for five minutes and then put it away and then take our eyes off Jesus and go ahead uh, about uh, the other routines of our life. It's not just on uh, Wednesday nights or, or Sundays when we get together with other believers and fellowship and worship God and, uh, and sit under uh, the teaching of God. That's, that's a momentary look just a, a small portion of our time during the week. God wants us to keep our eyes fixed. So not just uh, those few minutes a day when we read the Bible, not just those few minutes a day when we pray, not just though that hour we spend at church uh, in Sunday school class and then another hour uh, in the morning service and perhaps even a third hour uh, to go to an evening service or midweek prayer, whatever it might be. We're just talking minutes or a, or a couple or a few hours here out of the entire week. God wants more than that. He wants all of us. He wants all of our life. He wants to invade and be the, the priority in every aspect of our life throughout the entire week. So we need to fix our eyes on Jesus. Now, Paul has something else to say uh, about running, and this is in 1 Corinthians 
uh, chapter 9, verse 24. Do you not know that those who run in a race all run, but only one receives the prize? Run in such a way that you may win. So he speaks directly to the motivation and the way uh, and our attitude about running. So we've been told to uh, lay aside all encumbrances, uh, lay aside all the sin that entangles us and distracts us and hinders us from running, and to fix our eyes on Jesus so that we could stay the course and run in the right direction. But now we're also being told about our attitude and our motivation that, okay, you you may uh, get the idea that we're in a race and that it, it, it lasts a lifetime. But Paul also tells us here that there are lots of people who are running. This is not a fun run. You need to have the attitude and the motivation to run the best that you can so that you might win the prize. This You can't just jog. You can't just walk. You can't run a little bit and then walk a little bit and run a little bit. You want to win the prize. Now, this is not about outdoing our fellow believers. Uh, this is not necessarily about crossing the finish line first ahead of everybody else. But God looks at our heart. He knows what's inside of us. And he knows when we're doing our best and continuing to try and do our best with endurance. He sees that. He knows uh, that we might not be the first one to cross the finish line. But that's not the point. He's looking at the attitude and uh, our training and the effort in which we put in to running this race. So let's take this serious. Let's fix our eyes on Jesus. Let's run the race that is set before us and let's do it in such a way that we don't get distracted that we don't turn to the left or to the right, that we don't pause um, and, and take a time out and take a break. Let's keep running with endurance for our whole life, keeping our eyes fixed on Jesus and running in such a way that we might win the prize. So let's run. So let's not look at running as such an awful, uh, treacherous thing. Uh, it, maybe it's not necessarily fun, but it is so important and it is so worthwhile because, again, we are running to the God of all creation who created you and he created me. And we are running towards Jesus Christ, the author and perfecter of our faith, the one who forgives provides us with forgiveness from our sin that we might receive eternal life and avoid eternal punishment. Well, I hope that this motivates you the way it's motivating me, and I pray that God helps you in your race, both in the preparing for it, in the laying aside anything that might be encumbering you, or laying aside all the sin that might be entangling you and slowing you down and that he will create in you a heart and a desire and an attitude to run in such a way that you might win. So may God bless you and keep you and give you his peace.